everyone, Elias Leonidas here, and we are in part 8 of our Imperator Rome Sparta campaign. Picking up where we last left off, we were able to defeat the Phrygia Revolt and take Athens from them, liberating the Athenians from their subjugation, and they could join glorious kingdom or empire or whatever we would call this of Sparta. Now looking ahead, uh, we are probably going to be very interested in either attacking the real Phrygia or going after Macedon. And because this is my first series back uh, and I want to change up some things, I plan on I'm going to decline that. I don't want them having access right now. We're going to make it a hopefully one hour long special. We'll see if anything happens. We are victorious. Uh, oh, we accidentally or purposely helped our wonderful allies. Wasn't an accident at all. Um, we're going to bring all these guys back over here. Actually, let's stop off here in Crete as well. To get all of our navy out here in Crete. Along with that. And our goal is going to, I think, be to go after Phrygia. I think they're the weakest power right now. Yeah, that would be a great thing. We're gonna fabricate the claim. We're gonna have the, the Aegean Island, since I think it's just one island. It's part of Hellas. And they are at war with Rhodes already, so that's actually beneficial for us. Um, oh, we're not an ally with Rhodes anymore. I forget we're a big boy. We're a regional power now, and I got no friends. So we're going to have two sets of 15. Uh, actually, well, one set of 15 and one set of 16. Uh, that still should be pretty good overall. Let it be known if we're holding another set of Olympic Games. Which is wonderful. Push forward a little bit more, drag these guys on over, and we're going to take these guys and have them come up here. What we're going to do is recruit some more warriors. We're doing pretty well financially. We're not invincible well, but we are alright. What we're going to do is invest in some light infantry and archers, so we add about 5k more men, and that is going to be taken from here. This 13 or so k of men we're going to use in our 16 stack ships to invade the islands over here as well. This is definitely the time to do it. Andros will be the only one coming with us. Let's just check Korea's naval. They're at 26 still. What we're going to try to do as soon as we go to war with them, um, that's why I want everything in position, is we are going to hopefully have both of our fleets coalesce together and be as close as possible. That way we don't have any little situations that might come about. There's Stratos. Okay, now we want you both to merge. You won't because you're two different armies. Okay, it's fine enough. I'm going to bring our navy out. There's something in the game. I'm not selecting one of my ships anymore. Wonderful. I don't know if maybe it has to do with merge these guys. Might just be too many. Need some guys. I should be able to. Splendid will go to the Olympic Games. Okay, once these guys get out here, finally, there we go. There we go. Let's pause it. 
bullets, like all these guys, they're gonna be getting on the bullets. I'm gonna select both of these guys and they're gonna be getting on the boats as well. And we're gonna be declaring our war. We're gonna take the Aegean Islands and become the dominant, hopefully, Greek or Hellenistic power. I mean, technically, some of these are bigger, but we did beat Egypt, so I feel like we have some right to boast. And the biggest thing is we need to keep ourselves safe um, and try to link up these fleets as quick as we can. The 12k here is going to disembark and go at this island chain, whereas the 13k over here is going to disembark on Naxos and take that set of islands. Well, allow the military access, they must be at war with somebody. The war with Epirus and Boeotia. Uh, Boeotia is trying to seal the deal by taking their land. We not care as much. They're in a decent side defensively though, is the biggest thing they got going on. And they're also being guaranteed by Macedon, so we should not get involved. We're guaranteeing them ourselves too. So, yet another reason. Okay, the first army, I should say the second army, just unloaded. Ooh, they're coming in very hot. We do have a navy though, so we are okay there. And we unload both sets of armies onto Naxos. We should do fine there. We have started the engagement at sea. There we go. Our fleet just came in, and we are doing pretty well. Oh, it's getting a little bit tighter. We're victorious at the Battle of Naxos. And let's see about the Sea Battle of Naxos. Oh, we took a loss. I think they're building ships right now, is the issue. So, can we. We're gonna lose some ships. Let's build up five more. That should replace anything we lose in this battle, as long as it keeps our way. Apparently, this is an extremely epic naval battle that must take forever because it's taking forever. Now, you'd think with two different naval commanders and the advantage, we would have already wiped the floor with them. But unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. Now, this is a huge financial cost to us. We are defeated! Oh no! 19 and 11. So we'll, we will be able to survive and lick our wounds. We should have some benefit of this, which would be a financial boom. We're going to boost up by building five more. Again, I think we will have the advantage in the sense of we should control things pretty well. As long as we can keep that larger stack as well kind of pinned in here on that island, we will definitely be fine. everyone we can out here and we're going to bring them together into one army population growth unrest we are going to take national tax modifier I'm tempted to take the men power but we're not doing too bad on manpower. We have 22k as our army. We have just enough. Yet here they are back again. This is not looking good for us. Retreat is prohibited. Looks like we're going to take some severe losses here. Um, unfortunately, the ship is screwed as well. I think good thing we might have bought ourselves a retreat. So 
cost ourselves another huge amount of money. We need to just coalesce all of our ships together in one. We need to be going at it yet again. Luckily their fleet is retreating back north. So Naxos, we have successfully won the battle at Naxos. And we are going to go after this little 2k stack here. We're going to go take this last island of Kios. Merge all these guys into the first fleet. There we go, we're wiping the floor with them. As long as they can't somehow stupidly cross, even though there's a fort there. Yep, the fort is going to prevent them from doing anything for now. Unfortunately, they are retreating back, and I don't want to engage on that. I want to get our other 12k out here, or if we can build our navy back together and get it out here as well. They're building up more. Again, we lost a lot of money. Probably hit two, three hundred dollar loss off of that. But we had one of the largest naval engagements we've ever had, but also probably to ever existed at this point. So the island of Kios has been secured. We're going to move the army down to Melios and have them hopefully. Uh, they're bringing in one K, so we're fine. All these guys need to merge into the bottom fleet. We're gonna have them go back, hopefully repair up. They do have nine K now, which is definitely not doable unless we bring over the other forces. Let's drag all of our fleets. We should now have the upper hand when it comes to fleet size. Um, and I, I'm going to go ahead and pull this trigger just because it will be a good long-term investment. Gain two national unrest with the morale of the army. Let's do that. We're going to also build another set of five. That'll put us pretty far down financially, but... That should mean we have the strongest navy again. But this time I think we'll be pretty okay because they'd have to head on and engage us with the advantage. I just want you to get onto the boat. Okay. be a relatively quick victory on that one. What we're going to do here is pile our ship men into these ships right here. The ground battle shouldn't be really the big issue in this Phrygia war. It should mostly just be, have been this naval look somewhat of a disaster. But we, we won. That's what matters. Egypt to trade with us, which is fine by me. I'm going to bring these guys to shore. Ooh, that might really work out in our favor. They are still able to cross. Okay, we're going to go over and take Naxos. That way we force them back to the smallest part of the island. Or the island chain, I should say. Eos has broken away again, but that is fine. How many men? We have a small army here. I want to take them and have them come to Eos. Okay, what do we have? Hostile attrition. Four square cost. That is actually really 
I feel like that's a really good one. I'm gonna do the war score cost. And that can directly help us too when it comes to the situation we're gonna have here. I have to see if that ends up being the case, but I think that should be. Well, the magnificent Spartan Navy is proving pretty fierce. Um, put these guys back up as well, so we will have the undisputed largest navy, I think. Let's find troops right there. there. Um, 19, yep. So we have the undisputed largest navy again. The capital is over here. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Antioch. The Antigonids. Yep. Yep. Well, what battle is about to occur? Nothing. Maybe they're thinking about coming over. It's a really dumb move. If they do, but hey, I am okay if they make that stupid of a move. Let's get all these ships together. We should have 28 ships, which is means we lost a lot, a lot of money. Um, but we did win, so that's what matters most. Might have been better off to just build a couple more ships before the war, but hey, what matters is if we can win it all. Okay, we're going to make the crossing here. Our side might win. I don't think this should be that close of a battle. We have over double the troops and three different commanders. I think this should be a pretty big wash, but it's not looking like it. Looks like we should win it though. Drain them in, drain them in. Veterans move on, Sparty gets 2,000. That sounds good for me. Perfect. We are victorious and we wipe out Phrygia's probably main army, I think, at this point. Let's see how many men we have. You know, they have 38, so they, they got a lot of men hiding somewhere, but at least their main army here seems to be gone. Ooh, there they are. Hateola has fabricated, somebody has fabricated a claim on Sparta itself. The little island Hateola has. That's pretty fucking hilarious. So somehow, we're not able to... Okay, so they still have the 9k part 2 in Thera. Okay, what we are going to do is rack up some more debt. Um, we're going to build two more of these guys. For some reason we have, I mean, I know we probably need to go in for repairs. How are we losing? I don't understand. We... to take all of them? This isn't the capital. There isn't the capital, Naxos is, and we control Naxos. So I would think, I don't understand how the war score is not going in our favor. So we gotta take this one tiny, <laughs> non, the most non-important island of all of the Aegean. Makes a ton of sense if you never think about it at all. And again, sometimes it's a lot of different things in Paradox games. I can't commander, no they don't, we're just gonna get everything together. So we're at 30 ships, we should easily crush them, I don't understand how it's even... Oh my goodness, this stupid... Forced white piece, even though we have the capital. Ugh. 
Game, game, game. You're not making any sense ever. Oh, are they leaving somewhere? Go, go wherever you're gonna go. Where are they going? Their land bridge? there they want to leave that's definitely I'm all for that especially if I can get the get them to be caught up let's go there yeah they're coming okay they're coming to let's take these guys why would so quick Okay, we should have the advantage here. If this goes awry, I'm going to be beyond pissed off. Because we have the numerical advantage and my general is not worse than theirs. Yeah, he's just as good, so there's absolutely no reason for there to be any issues here. This should be hopefully a defining battle. Not the grand battle that happened in like the first one, but this should be a defining battle of the Phrygia Spartan War and hopefully she'll cement the rise of Sparta and the fall of Phrygia. Yep, there we go. Victory. We lost two ships, but they lost eight. So that is a crushing defeat for Please explain to me how they're able to disappear into me. Oh yeah, we don't make much sense. Okay, we should catch them, and we should be able to kill them, and destroy their navy, and hopefully all the military forces. We only killed one dude. Explain to me how that works. Explain how to me how I can't destroy their navy. Especially when their navy retreated to my own sea tile. Ugh. <sighs> them in time when we catch them. It's a game of cat and mouse across the Aegean Sea and looks like we're going to catch them. Caught them again. Let's see how much damage this time we do. Only two. Gotta keep getting away. All their men should be dead, honestly. It's getting outrageous. It's not the most drastically bad thing in a war, but it's getting on my last nerves. There we go, we are going to catch them yet again. Every time we at least destroy a boat or two, that is killing probably however many we get rid of. No damage on the boat though this time, because reasons. Okay, we're going to cut them off. This has to surely be, we, we've had so many naval combatants with them and they just keep escaping. Alright, come on, this is getting ridiculously out of hand. There we go, enemy captured, their navy is destroyed, the decisive end to the Phrygia fleet. Today, I can almost guarantee will not recover from that. At least not naval. Do hostile attrition. Ooh, professional training will be a nice addition. A little bit. We're going to get everyone on the boat and have everyone come down to the air. Yet somehow we, even though we just destroyed what was just a little bit ago, the largest navy in the world, and we crushed them. We, uh, yeah, again, you're totally right. We we should be forced to white peace soon because we haven't occupied the war goal of the capital of Naxos. 
we, we just haven't captured the, such important island of Thera. My goodness. The war goal is still being contested. No, duh. Okay, with that pretty resounding victory, how are we doing on the ships? Okay, let's bring our navy back in. We have nothing to fear from them. Um, even if they have any, they don't have anything left. The undisputed naval power now. Um, and that might really entice me to try to take Kos, at least. Their military is still stronger than us, but not by a ridiculous margin. So another additional nice little benefit. Okay, we have now completely taken all that. We're gonna let the ships repair for a little bit. Ooh, okay. Um, there you go. Oh, is that Miss Clear? Range marriage. Select. Are you happy with me now? Arius Agid is. It's not the same guy, that's at sea. Um, we will do... Oh, it's gonna eat away some of our money. But that legitimacy is always nice, I feel like. I'm always just more afraid of it, I guess, than more than anything. What we are gonna do, though, is just drag this thing back out. They've repaired... somewhat. Not fully. Uh, let's get everyone onto the ships. Onto the ships. Uh, Oasia, I do not want to allow you through my lands because you're going to just eat up Epidurus, and I'd rather not have that happen. Okay, we're gonna go over here to Kos, and we are going to be taking some of these rightfully ours pieces of land. Ooh, Ionia has that war with us as well. So that is very tempting to try to steal off some of the islands from them, like Samos, Aviros, Chios. We at war with Aeloa as well. We are, so that is another thing we could try to take these islands too. And we got these islands up here even. The island of Limos and Imbros. I don't know what island this is. For being Greek myself, I severely lack some of the language skills. I should say being Greek American. The key difference there. But uh uh we know speak Greek too well. I love these guys on Viros. They do not have enough, is there oh there is a four. Uh -oh. Then we'll have you re go over here and have you take Samus. Ooh, 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 no, 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 no. How do we. Still able to march, okay. Doesn't make a lick of sense, but. Wait, where are they attacking? Oh, they're attacking here? Okay, yeah, they were attacking there. Liros is giving up. We'll load the men onto the ships here and drive them north to take Samos. We are not having quite the army we should. 
close. It's just a little, little tiny independent nation that could. It's great for them. I don't really have too much animosity. I find it more funny than anything. Here we take Hellas. And the Aegean. That's... Please explain to me why I can't select the damn Aegean Islands. I can take Kos and Kumos, or however you pronounce that, but I can't take the war goal. And the war goal is completely occupied. Please explain it to me. Because I can't figure it out. I'm going to go here in Samos. I feel like it should definitely prevent them from going anywhere when it comes to having ships. Unfortunately, this island is affected by Kindles, which I just probably have a little Yes, they are. We are victorious, captured some of their men, and broke their fleet. Let's see if we can look over here and trap them. Okay, it might actually prevent them, because every time I've done that so far, they have immediately kind of retreated back. Which is great, I think that's a much better thing than anything else. So I need to figure out, is there a single island that I don't have occupied? Where are we on over? Some stuff over here. Other than that, the entire war goal is occupied. I, it blows my mind. I don't understand. Can become a client state to us, I guess. Maybe that's the issue. They're like a, their own nation, so we can't just take them. Really don't understand that in the slightest, but whatever. The games will be held. We have a hey, another Olympics. We're gonna get off here on close. See if that can make the difference. If we can already get what we want out of this. Might as well take Kos. Does Athena not have? Athena does not have a fort, which is kind of a big deal. By kind of, I mean a very big deal because that's an important place. We join a court. We're going to have him press our soldiers or rally them or whatever you want to call it. So I don't. Athens, uh, Athens might not actually be really that important to the Norse court. I hope. Yeah, whatever. Agree to some trade deal. We can take Kos. We cannot take Samus. Who owns the Samus? Okay, their puppet does, so I think we're gonna have the same issue. But it's not letting us take from the puppet. But taking those two islands are pretty good by me. Oh, we could. Take Lemos. Almost Lemos. Whatever it is. Uh, could definitely take those. No, I want you to stay out to sea. New, new, new. I see what you're doing, and it's not going to happen. Oh, we get to see if it, it prevents it. It has to at this point, because I can't imagine it. it would not prevent it, given it keeps pushing them back. Oh, you know what? Before this gets any more out of hand, we'll do that. Take all of that. Samos is not going to be part of this. Could have them release some other little things. We'll get quite a bit of aggressive expansion, but 
I can live with that. Um, oh, we can have them release Ionia. Yeah, let's do that. Ionia. Helia. If any other puppets out here, I don't really care. Gives 205 gold, pretty much the entire Aegean Islands region and area, and we would liberate Ionia. Um, no. The reason I'm saying no is because I kind of want to. Send them back. Once they get back, we're going to split our navy in half. Split in half. Have him come out here. We're going to sign this guy. Him on the boats over here. Ooh, where's that going? At a 14 and nine. Sorry, nine of the enemy boats. So, pushing this saving keeps taking forever. Okay, there we go. Gonna drag our forces up over here and have them drop off units. So, I'm thinking what happens every time is. They should block them. Yeah, it, it's looking like it, it definitely does. Which I think is honestly what needs to happen, because I don't think you should be able to cross if there's a navy occupying a strait. I get that it's not super deep, but there's a giant navy and naval force preventing you. So, we did win that. That gets us a little bit more war score. We can actually take that, which is something I'm totally for. The more we can get our hands on, we're gonna liberate Athens up here. There's one Phrygia ship docked at Arthias port. Okay, let's split you in half. The Capio of Gamagara and the other half up here. Hopefully that Ooh, no 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 no. Um, let's shift everyone up. There we go. So I think if we keep doing this nice little game here, we should be able to constantly control things. Now Samos they can't get to. to bring them down here to Kos. Could be an easy little victory for us. It's very fun with these navies being able to completely block off my adversaries from getting to me on the islands, which I definitely feel like 
should be normal period, but especially ancient time warfare. I feel like that's really not too much to ask for. Okay, we're doing pretty good there. Uh, I want to get coast back. That way, get coast out of this. There we go. So that's looking like what is going to be the end of our little mega war. Um, yeah, we'll take anything else we can. I'd rather have it in my hands than anyone else's. And then let's see about make more money, but. video which is just that basically um, that's not super in our desire Eola would be really really in our desire so that would really screw them over it won't release Pythia either let's just see if we can get financially out of them There we go, 314, not too bad. Good ticket, but I don't care, I'm ready to be done. Let's see where it goes. Frigia has accepted its defeat. And let's see what we got out of this whole thing. We have way too many relations. Oh, actually not that many, we just have... I forgot we lost all of our alliances, so it doesn't really matter as much. Um. We have our little Andros here, and now our new little guy, and an Asiatic League with its capital Naxos. And we also got all these little islands here, which is perfect for us, plus one of them has a fortress, which means it should be that much more annoying for them to take it off of our hands. What I think actually what we're going to do is park some men out here. I'm gonna take these men and bring them back to Sparta. Get a researcher. This is one for I lack a governor. That's not a very liberal governor. Um not great but loyal, so that's what we need. Have these guys go park in Athens. And we're looking pretty good expansion-wise. Um, not as much of it is necessarily our color, but now we control pretty much the Aegean undisputedly. I mean, not just through our navy, but also through controlling most of the land. Macedon only has 12 ships, so we have definitely a navy superior there. We're not going to go to war probably in this part with Macedon. I would have loved to roll from one to the other, but uh, our other battle was a little too costly naval-wise and even troop-wise. So we need some time to rebuild a lot of our troops. Boatia taking this one little province. That will be fine if... I think the main... Let's see. Yeah, we could deal with that. Uh, what we're going to do is do the Blessing of Apollo, get our manpower up. It is 499. Um, Roman years, I think. So let's bring our Spartan over. Where would I like to put these guys? Oh, we're just. Athens as well. I guess I'll let my main army there and then have a small contingent out here on the islands. We got a gift from the Phrygia Revolt, which uh, are the people we stole a bunch of land from. But it is all good. And oh my gosh, they have another civil war, another Phrygia Revolt. <laughs> Wonderful.
Um, I almost wish there was Phrygian revolt areas over towards us instead of they're all in the Middle East and stuff. Which is not really... We're not really going to mess with it. And we don't have a, a ton of men to mess with anything, but it's never a bad... Let's do siege ability. The quicker we can knock down sieges, the absolute better it will be. 14 ships. Got these guys come in. Where's our other other navy down here? We'll have them. The arrow still have a port. Is it close out of port? No, close doesn't have a port either. Or sorry, coast has well, this part of coast has a port. Which sucks some of us, which we don't own. So what's what's the nearest? I guess theater. Our troops go back, or our navy go back down there. So is all the men then? It seems like we're not the men. Oh, there we go. Let's bring them all together. That is our main army. So in Sparta, so we got 5k. Well, we'll be 5k there. And I'm guessing. Ooh, what is this? Maybe. 20k? Maybe a little bit more than that. I'm going to just let us get our manpower back out. We're in 500. And we've grown quite a bit. Ionia is at war with Phrygia Revolt. That truce going on with them though. Till. 508. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. I would really love to tackle them now. Uh, just because I especially want Samos and Geos. Where we own all of these islands. Rhodes is really not beneficial for us in any way anymore. Um, you're gonna revoke guarantee. It'll take 10 years. That's fine. I don't see anyone else. And honestly, if we can do this, this would drag in all these little powers. That might be a big, big thing for our future. We <laughs> should have paid us money. We're still just a regional power though, right? We're not, unfortunately, a major power, which I guess I feel like we're, we're on par with Egypt, definitely. Phrygia is not a major power, so. We have a stronger navy. We have a Comparable army. I'm not sure how we are not at the same level as Egypt, but it's fine. Rome is grown. Uh, they've taken this, but they're not quite as big as I would have expected them. I feel like I normally think Rome snowballs quite a bit. Epirus and Boeotia. I guarantee by Phrygia. Gain citizens or we can gain gold. Let's gain citizens. I don't really have a desperate need for that gold. We have one of the largest navies in the world, and actually speaking of which, let's top it off. Do another five. Let's see how soon. Oh, okay, this is owned by Frigia. But he's really annoyed. Cannot colonize this. But we're getting closer. Actually, it was here. I don't think I can control their population now. Nope. But when can we annex Andros? Definitely have to make them like this more, so it's improved opinion. There we go. Need a new researcher. Take this guy. And we go. 
going to bring the rest of this light fleet over to Athens. Oh, no, 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 no. Did not see. Those pirates. Let's get all these guys together then. Have to have some nice, sweet revenge on some pirates then for interfering with our business. Um, there we go. Going to really block them in here with some really powerful. Okay. okay, here we go. Going to hopefully crush them pretty easily. I'd be very disappointed if we didn't. We did, but they're managing to escape. To escape. Go go go. Goodbye to all the pirates. I'm going to take the 32 and just sit them here in Athena. And sit them in <clears throat> Athens for a while. See what they can do. Just, I've just not really gotten in. I've never was as big a fan of C uh, Crusader Kings. More a fan of like Europa and Versailles and stuff. So the feature doesn't quite yeah freedom uh, doesn't quite entice me as much let's do wood I guess Minus. got a lot of people that are trying to improve relations with us perhaps a little bit which is great um, I would love to take Cyprus though from them I don't really care about their Asian uh, Asian Minor holdings, but but I kind of do want to take this part of Asia Minor. It's just getting into the interior of Asia Minor, we lose what's been such an advantage for us, which is having such a strong, strong navy. Oh, there's our little vassal. He's over here chilling. And Ellis, just waiting for the Olympic Games. I'm guessing. Andros and the rest of them also fine. There's a pretty large mercenary movie here. No, we don't want them, but pretty decent size. Also, Delos is uninhabited, which I'd like to change that. Roads as well. No one's guaranteeing them. And their allies are basically the most desirable things I can have. Um, succession crisis. Ooh. Stability drop, death. So, is there an army somewhere? I don't see an army anywhere. Stratos. Okay, what's well, somebody young? Okay, she's got quite a bit of traits. Let's choose her. Stratos or for the name? Choose that guy. Civil War breakout in 13. Oh no. That's what they meant. Do that. Hopefully that 
helps. Smear his popularity. Okay, we drastically just cut up his army basically. So is the civil war still going to occur or like if it does he's gonna die basically he's gonna cut his army down to like nothing the cost is quite a bit but doesn't that mean we don't have to I'm very confused I'm paying for his army too which I kind of wish we didn't get rid of them because then that was a bunch of free Men potentially, as long as they wouldn't have started the war. So we should have almost 30, 35k then. If I wouldn't have got rid of about six more k of his men, we'd have 40 cohorts, which is really far. But really on par with it. Um. Okay, we should be back. Hopefully it's recording again. I deposit. There we go. So we just did a little bit there. I'm gonna let the time tick. Might not be the most exciting end to part 8, but part 8 was pretty exciting. I think we were able to do quite a bit. One power decreases, own duration decreases. This dude loses loyalty though. Or we can just take the religious power, and he gains a little bit of loyalty. We're gonna do this. Um, I don't really care about the durations of that stuff all that much. Not noticing a huge issue with it. And increase our stability, which is gonna give us some tax bonuses and some other bonuses. And I'm very confused on how we just. I magically got 9,000 extra guys. I mean, I know it was gonna be a civil war, but instead of carrying out the civil war, he just says okay and stops. Or... It doesn't make much sense. It does not make much sense at all. Macedon is at war with the Seleucid Revolt, which I have no clue where that is. I don't even know who the Seleucid Revolt is. Um, there's no one on the map that I can see that's red. That's really interesting. It 
So if I would go to war with Macedon, we would suffer so much penalties because we'd have so many other people attack us. But if we attack Argos, we can take Macedonian lands and only their vassals, Argos and Ibiwa. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this little island here will attack us. And both of those, Ibiwa, by this island, this island, if we can somehow get it without fighting an actual army and taking all of this would be a lovely little thing to get. Actually, speaking of which, we are going to improve relations with Boisha. Yeah, we'll take a free granary. Uh, different cultures and some other issues. Are we different cultures? I mean, yeah, we are, but we're not really... We're not that different of a culture group. We're, we're still in the same cultural grouping, so... Watch yourself. Uh, we're both the Olympics. And with that, I think we're going to call it an end to part 8, our one hour special. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we were able to defeat Phrygia and have a huge naval war. And now we own the Aegean and are the naval dominant power in definitely the Eastern Mediterranean, but I think in the entire game world. Well, if you guys liked the video, please make sure to leave a like. If you guys are interested in seeing the next part and hopefully our eventual war with Macedon, it should be in part 9 or 10, and our further expansions around the Aegean, make sure to subscribe. Well, this has been Ilias Leonidas. Thank you guys so much once again. I'll see you in the next part. Ciao for now.